Rosenberg, bro, what's going on, man? Yes. What up, gang? I'm chilling, man. How you doing, man? I'm chilling, man. I can't really call it. You know hey, bro, I, enjoying I see you. You changing the game with the super streams. Oh, I don't you know how I fuck with it? feel about that yet. I don't know how I feel about that yet. So, you know, I wouldn't I wouldn't call it changing the game. Um, but I, what I didn't, so I, I've been watching y'all since I've been in battle rap. Right. Um, so I always love talking about sports and shit that I'm into. Um, and once I got into battle rap, um, as much as I like battling, I like talking about it. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'd study all the bloggers, even if I didn't think it was a good blogger. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, I study, I study. And then once I was ready to jump in that lane, I, I didn't I just didn't want to pick up and do what y'all was doing. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's been y'all thing for a long time. Now, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I'll cut the camera off and cut a blog. Like, I'll cut the camera on and cut a blog like Caps or like Piper Boy. But I didn't want that to be all I did because y'all been doing it. So you, you want know, to add on eat. to it, right? So then you know, um, once I seen all the streamers, you know, it's the it's the age of the streamer, and I'm like, yo, who in battle rap is doing something like this? Nobody. You know what I mean? So it ain't like something I just created, but it, it's been it's been getting good feedback and we enjoy doing it, sitting with the battlers and celebrating it. You know what I'm saying? That's basically what the whole angle behind it is. And you know, it's it's been fun and we got we got a super stream this Saturday. Nice. You know what I mean? Nice. With, 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 with everybody's favorite battler, you know what I'm saying? And you know, it's gonna be fine. We all love it. I, so I don't announce who it is. Um usually okay. the day smart the man, day, smart man. Usually and and I'll tell you why I don't do that, Caps, because, yo, this culture is so filled with evil people. And as much as I want to let people know, guess who I got coming this weekend? I never want to put somebody in a position where they get in a phone call by somebody who might not fuck with me and be like, nah, don't go up there and do that stream with foes. Who are you talking to? You, so you know. I've been dealing with that the whole so, time I've been doing this. You know. So for, for me, I'm like, I can't, I, as much as I be wanting to announce it, that's a reality, which is so sickening when you think about it, right? Yeah. Because the at minute, the end of the day. Yeah, the, the, the minute fl the, the flyer come out or you announce it, oh, the phone call coming. The so phone call's coming. I, I'm, I'm glad I, I got to see that comment, right? So just say you're Kai Sinet. So the thing about that is, right, that's not a, that's not a knock towards me. Like, I don't take that as an insult. If you see what I'm doing and you're saying I'm, you're, you're saying I'm trying to be Kai Sinet, that's a compliment. He's the best streamer in the world. Um, but when you guys say that, you don't talk about Aiden Ross. You don't talk about speed. There's way more like other streamers that you can say I'm stealing their style or whatever the case may be. But everybody goes to Kai Sinet. So it's, it's a compliment when y'all say that. I appreciate that. I appreciate oh, that. Oh, wow. I don't, I don't even know who Cosnut even is. Okay, I got to check this out. Right, now. right, mm -hmm. right. So we, so what we wanted to do is just bring streaming to battle rap, right? Now, you can't please mm -hmm. everybody. You know, it's always a dick eater. But, you you know, you most people are feeling the vibe, and they like what we're doing, and we're, yeah. we're about to start adding on to it. You know, I want to I think it's fire. I think it's fire. Yeah, I think so, it's fire. It's, it's, it's basically, you know, basically what we've been locking in for the past nine months, though. But, you know, you know what it is. Okay. Okay. Can I ask you a question? Real talk. Sure. As far as this whole ARP, he's falling back. Like, what's the goal plan for you at this point now? Do you try to get on URL? Do you, like, what do you do? Um, you know, it, it's it's difficult if you're relying on him. Okay. So I, I feel bad for the battlers who were sitting around waiting for another ARP phone call. Um, because maybe they didn't know this is how he felt. Now, if you if you're in those offices, you know behind the scenes, ARP has been saying that this is kind of gonna fall back a little this bit. Is what, this is what he's aiming towards doing. Um, but I don't know if everybody in that memo. You know what I mean? And luckily for certain dudes who got certain situations where they're not dependent on ARP, because I've been there. I, I know where that what that's like. Um, and you know, so I, I feel for them, um, because I don't know if they have a direction on where they're going to go, but you know, far as a whole, as a, as a, as a RBE guy, listen, you can't do nothing but celebrate. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the, the guy who has made this business run is, is walking away, uh, you know, essentially taking this ball and going home. And, um, who, who am I to, you know, say that 
it ain't the time. It's his choice. It's something he want to do. You know what I mean? So obviously his feelings, his personal space and where he's going supersedes all the talent that is under him. And, and rightfully so. Rightfully so. Um, but you know what? Uh, can I ask a question? But I mean, for the battle rappers like you who waved the RBE flag, Big K waved the RBE flag. Like y'all jumped in the front line to go against URL to wave the flag. How do you feel about that with him walking away? Do you feel so, like you should have waved the flag at this point? He, he never, he never put a gun. Actually, gotta do that. Wave my flag. So gotcha. I, 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 yeah, I chose I, to know, do who that. Am I, who am I to put that on him? Um, but what I will say is, you know, it was a little, um, it was a little underwhelming after the first year when they won league of the year it's the first year yeah. that they won league of the year yeah so if you're an yeah. rbe guy your mind goes to well man i can't wait to see what we about to do this year almost yeah. in like trying to defend it and then it's like oh wait we we're not going to defend the title we retiring like we ain't, we ain't gonna try to have another year so it's all perspective but i think what can't get ignored <laughs> is they are been doing this for 11 12 11 years you know what i'm saying and 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 when he, it's not like it's a smack Beasley, Chico, and, and multiple people. You understand what I'm saying? So it's him, himself. Yeah. So he feel like he wants to walk away from it, no matter what I feel or any of the rappers feel. He's within his right. I think that um, if if a lesson is learned, it's make sure you got something else going on outside of battling because it could be taken away just like that. And True. That's, that's yeah. the reality of it. That's the reality. Yeah. I'm yeah. Happy that I started my YouTube channel and started doing what I was doing because when he announced his retirement, I didn't have to say, damn, what's next for me? I know what's next for me. You know what I mean? But at least, at least, at least to hold you down for a little while, you know, YouTube, you got a couple of racks coming in, shit like that. Yeah, I get yeah. you. Just, just being able to create content and make Plus sure you you're able to feel that. On way. top of that. So, yeah, I got you. 100%. So, it didn't affect me as much as, say, maybe another guy who was on the come up. But, uh, you know, again, man, it's ARP choice. And when you feel like you done, you, you, this is what people don't understand, Caps. How many losses do you think he took before he got a win? That's a fact. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So and to get a win and maybe break even or make a couple of dollars, maybe he feel like, man, I gave 10 years to this game. I, I'm okay. I want to do something else. He's he, he's within his right to do that, man. He's within nah, his right to do I that. So. You on that. I feel you no, on that. All the headaches. I don't like all I, the, the, the negotiation with the artists he probably ain't even gonna fuck with niggas going back and forth you are right, all kinds of fuckery going on behind the scenes that we don't even know about to this day yeah so yeah, I, yeah he, for he sure. probably he probably way more peaceful not being in battle rap in all reality i think that's the thing that stands out to me he seemed like he had peace with the decision he seemed like he had, had peace with the decision so you know at, 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 if, if you fuck with him and you a friend of his whether you do business with him or not from that aspect, you got to understand where he's coming from, and I fully do. Okay. So, are you do. trying to get to URL? I'm asking you that. I don't need to get to URL. Um, but are I'm you trying? You're trying to go there, though. So, tr so, trying, I wouldn't say trying. I'm not against it, and um, I'm, I'm open to it. And my okay. RBE my RBE contract expire, expires this year. So, I had... Oh, I, you want the contract? Frank, I didn't I even know that. A, okay. I was in. I had a deal with ARP and, and RBE, a uh, two-year deal that we signed a year and a half ago, um, okay. and that's about to that's about to expire. Um, so it kind of made it easy because we, you know, we had a re, we had a t you know a situation where the contract continued if we didn't renegotiate, and we weren't going to probably battle again under those same stipulations. So we were going to probably be looking for a new contract with RBE, but we, we can't guarantee that that would have happened. You know what I mean? He might not have liked some of my terms. So, you know, it it, it really depends on um, how that would have went. But now that he's falling back, it doesn't even matter. The contract's going to expire, and I'm, I'm I'm really free to do whatever I want. But what I want to say is, now. with the contract that I was under with him, he didn't have a clause in there that said I couldn't battle with URL. He never put that in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it wasn't like I couldn't battle with URL because I was under contract. But, you know. Are you worried that URL might look at it like, okay, well, you was thriving on RBE, so we don't even gonna rock with you like that. Nah, or, I mean, me and P. Or, me, if you watch the clips battle, a little bit of it got out in the third round. Um, when I was negotiating my contract with RBE, I was also negotiating the contract with URL already. 
That was yeah. before Stiz got the bill collector battle. The bill collector battle was going to happen on URL, but we we just couldn't we couldn't get a deal done. There were some things that pre, you know prevented it, and we couldn't get a deal done. But I was in full talks with URL two years ago, and we almost had a deal done, a three battle deal. So we were pretty close to getting it done. If you go back to URL, where you ranked? Are you up there with the twerks and the the rocks or so, what? So, like, how does this work? So the the beautiful thing about that is. If you battle on their league, you're kind of in that system. So where they rank the tiers and shit like that. For me, um, I would have never went over there and say, all right, y'all, what tier y'all going to put me in? Like, I would have had to know who I was battling, when I was battling. Um, and for me, I'm in my, I'm, I, I'm not really controlled by the tiers. You know what I mean? Like, I would What tier are you, though? What tier so do you I, feel like you are? I, I'm Frozenberg tier. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Are you top tier or are you mid tier? Real talk. I I want to I want to hear your perspective. What, where do you feel like so, you at? So for me, I'm I'm a top tier battler. Okay. Um, and the, the, re the reason being is like the fans don't get to decide that. The money you get paid by the league decides it, right? So for me, if if I'm a top three guy at RBE and y'all are saying that's the that's a second or, or first best league in the world, because you say I'm not. A, a top shelf guy if i'm one of the top three guys on the top tier league so it's it's a really the fans contradict themselves oh froze mid-tier but rbe is the second best league in the world and he top three over there. it's just like so it's uh, the, the the tiers are set for making people. sense you making sense the, the tiers making are, sense the tiers are set for people like haters to be able to say oh nah he's in this tier. you actually really control that you control what tier you're in if you're in control of your situation. If there's a league owner or a talent scout who's in full control of what battles you get and when you get those battles, a la like somebody like P and a, and, and a guy over there. If somebody like that is controlling your your all, all your battles, well, you're in whatever tier they say you're in. But when you're able to say, man, I'm not battling him. All right, you don't want to battle him, Froze? What about this guy? No, nah, I don't want that either. All right, uh, who you want? Here, I'll give you a list of three names. Oh, yeah, Froze, we, I, I control my tier. So, again, uh, uh, the tier is a very loose, uh, 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 loose used word. But also, we were arguing about this the other day on my show. Um, we have, we have fucking, we have pistol on the mid-tier so much, it's disgusting. Like, if you you think about it, right? You know how important the mid tiers are. They're very, they're very important. When you say mid tier, who are you talking about? So, give me um, some examples. Uh, Mike P. Um, somebody you guys would say mid tier, but I wouldn't though. Okay. Um, Mike P. Uh, Snake Eyes. Snake Eyes, right? A lot of people will put Snake Eyes in the mid tier category, but Snake Eyes is one of the best promoters in all of battle rap like if you went to top five top ten promoters snake eyes is top five top ten easily right is mike is mike p mid-tier put mike t is top tier i would put mike p as top tier the fans might not you know but uh, uh, uh jack boy is also another good name that they will put in the mid-tier but you got to understand though caps if the mid-tier did not matter then why wouldn't they just that boy is mid-tier bro no, please don't fine. do this that's fine. Who's Bro, you, Which one? you might be mid tier. I'm trying to I'm no. trying to figure it out. You might be mid tier. Well, cap higher was, mid tier well, cap, but see, slash see, low here, top it, tier. See here, but see that's what y'all doing when y'all can't find the area and pick, y'all start creating it. Well, no fro, you upper mid like what are y'all talking about? This is Yo, but I'm you gotta at. understand you 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 try to get put in the same terms as the you know the hollow and all these niggas and shit like so, that. So I'm, I'm not trying anything. I'm very comfortable with Rosenberg Raw as a battle rapper. I'm one okay. of the best battle. I'm one of the best battlers in the world. Not because Cap said it, because my work proves it. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. If you work look at my, if you look at my last 20, 20 battles, I'm arguably seventeen and three, eighteen and two. And then Fuck if you look shit. at the resume, if you look at the resume, it ain't just some name. There's names on there. So for me, I'm very comfortable. What, where I'm at. You can't make me feel a tear that I don't feel like I am, right? So for me, like you go look at, um, you know me. And yeah, you know what? You know, your resume you know, you know and me. your win race, yo, yeah, you got to be top tier, right? You, know me, you, you got to be top tier. You know me and Clips are top three most viewed battles out of all the Blue Room battles that happened. 
Now go look at Clips. Clips hasn't been a big draw in views like he usually. Back in the day, anything, to, anytime a Clips battle dropped, it would be a million view battle. But in 2023 okay. and 2022, that wasn't the case. But if you go look at our right, um, A Ward versus A Verb, that was a big promoter battle, right? Mm -hmm. A Verb was going crazy. A Verb was every day in the spaces. The promo was disgustingly good, right? Yeah. Me and Clips got double the amount of views on that battle. Talk it all. Me and Clips are twenty thousand away from a million. So it, it really, it really all Dang. depends in what perspective. I'm not wrapped around the tier. <laughs> I'm not wrapped around that tier word because if I if I do, I put myself in a certain pay rate that I don't want to be in. So so for me, you can't tell me what I am and what I'm not when you know I know okay. the, the logistics of of you know what it is. So you know it, okay. it all, it's okay. all perspective, cats. It's all perspective. Well, but, Rosenberg, on, Roy, you were... before you go into your next okay. question, I'm not mad at anybody saying I'm mid tier because, like I said, me and my brother on our show Frozen Bros last week we had a big argument. Everybody uses the word mid as ass now. If you're nah, mid, you're ass. Nah, 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 nah. I don't no, mean no, ass. No, no, no. I'm not saying you do cats, but a lot of people use that word as a derogatory term. Like, he's mid. Well, do you understand that if mid didn't matter, they would just do Lux versus Rum Nitty and not put nobody on the undercard? Why the fuck they don't do that? Why don't when they had Ill Will versus Hitman Holla, why didn't they just put that card out there and sell it to y'all? That one back. Battle because and they, no no undercards because, whatsoever because they cannot do that. The mid tiers really make the culture go because the top yeah. tiers only come outside two three times a year. Who the fuck we watching all year? The the same mid tiers that y'all beat on that y'all no diddy that y'all that y'all fucking verbally abuse all year like they're not as good as the top tier. When you know the ones who wait, wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute Rosenberg Raw Rosenberg Raw is a war top tier? I think a was top tier without a shadow of a doubt. He's never had a URL battle in his life. He battled Geechee yeah. twice already. He's battled Rum Nitty already. He's battled Averb. His top tier race well, battle twice. is Will. He's Geechee, never well, had Geechee a battle twice. on yeah. URL, which we claim is the NBA, but he's a top shelf battler. Why the fuck did that happen? He's for sure top tier, 100%. Okay. Okay. So I just want to see what's going on with that. All right. All right. Yeah, listen, man. We tagged you because yesterday, uh, Dom Arino came up here, right? Now he, he's going to battle you. Mm -hmm. and then the following weekend, he has Ab for three rounds. So I, so I said, you're not going to beat Ab. I said, you're not going to beat Rosenberg Roy either. And when I said that he wasn't going to beat you, he said his one round, like he kind of made it seem like he, he was disgusted that I said that. And then what really pissed me off, it, was, is it wasn't even just him. Fawn said it, and then T-Top said it. You might have to battle T-Top to beat Royal Chu. Because so, T-Top is the same. Well, I'm listening. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, I, honestly, I don't think much of T-Top. But um, when, whoa, when, it comes, when it comes to... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you mean by that? No, just me personally. Like, I don't think much of T-Top. I think T-Top's one of the most overrated dudes in the game. But that's just my opinion. Oh, I, well, what, right. Wait, 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 wait. Don can wait. What you mean, T Top so is the one of the most if overrated? I, I, what you, I, you gotta I, break I, that I, down to me. So if, if I pulled up his like last 10, 15 battles, I mean, most of them, majority, we were saying, man, T Top don't even care no more, right? It don't even seem like T Top is in the battles. Um, now, his last battle versus Twerk, he was solid. But to be fair, I mean, Twerk didn't put a fight up. So we wouldn't have really know how to went if Twerk actually put a fight up. And I'm oh, not wow. taking nothing away from I'm not I'm not, I'm not taking nothing away from what Top Top has did over his career. But like I think Top has been like really watered down for the the latter part of what's been happening uh, lately for him. Um, oh, but you know I'm not talking about his career in the totality. Not yet. Um, because he's a Hall of Famer, no question about it. But as you of right, I mean, and he has, and now he's overrated. And, and, and he has a good battle here and there. Here and there, like, and it's, oh, wow. it's, it's, like sporadic moments, he'll have a a good battle. But you know, Wait, for me, hey, like, T Top is whack now. Oh, he's, boy, they said he didn't say he's whack. They, they said he the new Big T. I didn't say that. Um, no, 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 no. no, 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 no. We're not T Top new Cassie, Big T. We're not doing. Cassie, are you crazy? Hold on, Cassie, you can't I, beat I, T Top. I, I, you just told T Top you didn't know if he could beat me on the same video. <laughs> I said it, but you nah, you nah, nah. I be trolling sometimes, bro. All right, but you're not trolling this time. Bro, you think you can beat T Top? I think there's not a battle rapper or breathing on the earth that I can't beat. Like that's like I, 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 you know what's funny, cats? I always find it funny when you ask that question to a professional battler, right? Like, wait, Raw, you think you can beat T Top? Listen, let's be clear here. Hey, the, okay. The, 
ranking systems and the tiers are for fans to try to gauge predictions before battles happen, right? Yeah. They don't matter to the actual battlers when we're about to go in the ring and battle somebody. I'll give you an example. When I battled Clips, I was the under, I was the underdog clear. When I battled Ill Will, I was the underdog clear. But going into that battle, there was nothing in my mind that told me I'm not Bro, you about can't to go. Be I'm not a, man, stop listen to what I'm saying. You're not listening. I'm, I'm 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 All right. When you go into a battle as a competitor, right, there's nothing that tells you, yo, I'm about to lose this battle because it's T-Top. Yo, I'm about to lose this battle. The guy, there's not a battle rapper breathing that I don't think I could beat. What the fuck are you talking about? And there's not one living. Like, there's not a breathing battle rapper that I'm like, nah, you know what? I can't fuck with him. Like, you niggas is wildin'. Do you think your last battles was better than T-Top last battles? Well, my last battles was, was Mike P, which was one of the battle of the year candidates last year. And then okay. I had to I had to battle with Shayna, you know, the the, the word was she, she got, got out you, on but okay, okay. The word okay. she got out on you wasn't me. you wasn't whack, you, you wasn't whack, you, you wasn't whack. You can't win gracefully and then lose and then hide. So anybody who felt like I lost a Shayna battle, I was totally okay with that, right? I do I do a lot of. Look, you admitted you lost to the Shayna. Yeah. What are you talking about? You you did on social media. You admitted it. That's what I'm saying, Caps. That's okay. what I'm saying. I didn't feel like I lost the battle, but when the consensus of people are telling you, "Yo, froze, you lost that battle," that's what the people say. I lost the battle. So I'm able to lose the, the same way I'm able to win. I don't make excuses. I whoop a lot of ass, Caps. That's what I do. I literally be fucking battle rappers up. Like, you go over my resume. Why are we talking to me like I'm not one of them ones? I don't understand. Am I, am I confused? I don't know. Am I confused? Yeah. I, know you, but I don't know about you being T-top. But, but, but hold up, 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 though. You got a battle coming this weekend. Yes. No. It's a one round. No, 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 not. It's the 20th. It's the twentieth. The twentieth. April twentieth. Yes. Cabin Fever two mm -hmm. in Ohio. Yeah. Shout out to. Cole. I'm a real was talking really crazy, like he's gonna smoke you. I'm but being dead real with you. But that's the thing, though. Like you, when Don Marino talks crazy, see, here's the problem with Don Marino. He underrated. He underrated. He's underrated. Right. He's underrated. He's underrated, but he's not that good. So he's, you know, it's not that he's underrated, bad. but he's not that good. Don Marino's a middle of the pack guy, like at a peak. So if if you peak out Don Marino. Like, in the best-case scenario, he's still a middle-of-the-pack guy. Like, he'll never flirt with those elite guys. Like, he's just a middle-of-the-pack guy. So, for me, that don't mean he's not a pro. He's still a pro. So, if you go in there and you don't prepare for Don, you under-prepare, you don't have that shit, Don's going to over-prepare. Especially if he's mm. battling with somebody who he thinks is – people think better than him, he's going to mm -hmm. over-prepare. He's a try-hard, right? So, if you don't, if you don't prep for Don – he might sneak one in on you. you, you to say. But 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 for me, my, my awareness is like one hundred. So I know Don knows that he's underappreciated. I know Don knows that people don't think that highly of him. I know that Don thinks that people <laughs> shit on him. So Don's gonna like I'm going to cook Rosenberg. That's where his mind is. So that's where he has to be when he battles somebody who's in a different class than him. For me, I got three two big announcements that are about to happen soon for other battles that are actually three round legit matchups. I haven't battled in about eight months. This is a warm up for me. You know what I mean? This is this is a warm up for me. I'm just I'm just getting my feet wet. That's all no diddy. Hey yo, why is Battle Academy dissing you? Why are they coming at you? I didn't hear them dissing me. They was dissing me. Top floor Lou say you could, like he said he would smoke you. Like why is he I don't know man. So you gotta understand it's been civil warring forever. All the way back, Reed Dollars, Meek Mills. And if you hot, if you hot in Philly, somebody else is hot. And it's like you got to go against each other, right? Because somebody's okay. always in a better position than the other one. But the other one uses the, you know, all right, like, for example, with Easy, they do. He not really from Philly. He not really from Philly. Like, all right, let, let's say he wasn't from Philly, right? Still better than every last one of y'all. Is he right? from like, Philly? If he wasn't. Is he from Philly? To me, that's irrelevant where he's from. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't, I don't know. I ain't from Philly, so what the fuck? I'm gonna sit in. And say, Norristown. Where I'm from. I'm from Norristown, Montgomery County, five minutes from Philadelphia. That's the funny thing, though. That's Same shit. Thing, yeah. Though, Cap. I got, where, I got you. I got you. I got you. Where we're from is called suburban Philadelphia. These niggas go shopping at our malls. You know what I mean? And <laughs> and and the place that I'm from, like we fill up the stadiums, not the niggas in Philly. Like, we fill up the Eagle Stadium, the Philly Stadium, Delaware County, Montgomery County, Bucks County, not them Philly people. You know what I mean? So 
they they always use that as a as a way to try to downplay something. For me, that's irrelevant. Are you better than me at battle rap? Yes or no? Now Luke is looking for a battle, and we've talked about doing a battle. I was supposed to battle him, not Suge, for the belt. Okay. I, I asked for too much money, so they didn't book me. They booked Suge. You asked for too much money. I asked for too much money, and they booked Suge. So we were supposed to battle. So that's maybe why he was talking. But like, like let's be honest i think they making some noise for the philly scene and the, and the new niggas and shit like that but i'm not gonna sit here and, and lie to you on camera and say top floor loot is some type of threat <laughs> that ain't me trying to play and luke got a little situation going for himself but you i'm not gonna sit here and tell you and talk to you like he's some type of threat or rival to me <laughs> respectfully and there's Dude, i think think he's fire and, like, yeah. and, and i'm not saying he's not fire but what i'm saying is like there's not one person in the battle academy that's on my level he be that's too? Not a oh, no, oh whoa, whoa. say shit again what you just said there's not one person on the trenches roster or the battle academy roster that could do anything with me so i don't look at them as competition you understand what i'm saying now if, oh if it, it, the funny thing about it is, no, no nobody on the trenches or Battle Academy. Oh, no, either side. When we just start, so easy, Luke, no, easy, but easy is not a trenches rapper. He owns the trenches. Owns the trenches. Okay, like he so owns not, it. I'm not looking at him as. I'm not looking at him as a. It, well, no, nah, nah, I didn't say I could be easy too. But I'm, I'm basically what I'm saying is, I don't look at him as a trenches rapper. He owns the trenches. You okay. know what I mean? K. -Y Walker is fire. K Walker is fire. You see, y'all gotta understand. Saying a nigga not fucking with me or better than me is not me saying they ass. I really think super highly of myself. I'm sorry, y'all like like super highly of myself. Yeah, like I'm I'm super full of myself. No diddy. So when when I say I'm better than somebody, it ain't me saying they ass. It's me saying I'm better than them. Right. That's all I'm saying. So I don't talk. Top floor Luke know we can do the battle too. He knows Stiz messed that up. Stiz ain't book it. It wasn't on me. I accepted the battle, right? Like, so he knows that. that Riggs is dope. Y'all naming niggas like I don't know who's on either one of these rosters. I know everybody. <laughs> they just can't fuck with you. Yeah, you just, you naming these niggas like so? <laughs> fire. Riggs is fire. You got to go look at his last three matchups. They're not compared to somebody of my level, so we can't scale them. Yeah, he did good in those ones, but he about to have a big battle with Snake Eyes. That's a big battle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, for me, it's like, I, I don't know. Like, 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 look, like, Moo said he wants to smoke. Of course, Moo would want to smoke. Why wouldn't he want to smoke? Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, but I ain't going to sit here and say, they ain't making noise, they are. But I'm not going to sit here and talk to you like these niggas is a threat to me. Muwap's not a threat to you? <laughs> yeah, why are you insulting me? Uh, <laughs> like, why, why are you insulting me? Like, I, I don't get it. I don't get why you're insulting me. Okay. 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 And like, this be so Muwap's right? not no threat. This, Top this floor this loose, right? not no nah, threat. Be, nah, HMO Prezi? HMO Prezi? Prezi dope, he a good writer, right? Like, he, he a good... See, this...